Hello everyone. Want to learn how to fix some problems relating to Camtasia Studio. In this tutorial, we are actually dealing with a missing file in a particular project file. This is an error from Camtasia telling me that this particular file is actually missing. To be able to solve this, because I don't know how many files it's actually going to tell me that is missing, I will just need to save this location first. So, what I will just do, I will click on search here. Let me look for my snip tool by Windows. Okay, so I will just use a free type and uh, clip this location. Okay. So now, I will look at this location, program data. Now, to be able to go to where program data is, program data is actually a directory that is actually hidden in your drive C, in your Windows drive. So I will just hit on my Windows logo E to go directly to where drive C is. So I will come to where my computer is, double click on local disk C, and then you can see there is no program there is no program data here so what i need to do is actually a hidden folder i click on view and go to hidden show hidden data okay so now this is the this is what we are looking for if you are using windows 7 just go to where you have folder options so now we have opened this place so where we need to go to go to text me so let's take a full address of it and i have to be fast with this go to text me go to camtasia studio and uh, go to library 2.0 and look for it where it is so now when i come straight to this particular place text me this this wow so we have a lot of files here so i have to look for you have a scf now if you check it there is nothing like scf among the whole s here it shows that that particular library is missing now when library is missing it's as a result of you maybe uninstalling camtasia studio from your computer or due to fresh installation of windows and so your library is no more available now to be able to, to be able to avoid this kind of particular type of problems make sure that your libraries are always backed up through exporting so that you can actually get back this data anytime that is one i will give you the second one later now to be able to solve this problem to bring back this to bring back the library is going to be an issue so what we have to do since it is no longer available we have to go for the second option which has to do with before we are supposed to check if it's actually available so we discover that it's not available so we need to find the file click on yes now the file is actually available inside my particular folder where i actually saved it now to be able to know how to fix these problems like i said you must fix this kind of problems easily if you are actually safe if you actually if you always save your data inside all your project uh, all your project files related to camtasia studio and are all saved inside a folder now because of sharing related problems we actually need to save our data related to Camtasia studio inside the root directory inside the hard drive directory that is to say in this particular place a place where you can easily share it with other computers or easily access it now come to this place when i get to this place i'll come straight to scf and i go to pictures that is where i saved my my pictures so this is actually the picture i'm looking for double click on this now we have resolved that now the second problem is the audio now this is how you have to get all the files back again now to get back this audio file this particular audio file if you actually save this inside your computer you can go directly search for it or you can just go to where you have it by pressing your windows logo e go to where you have it and 
look for it. In this particular case, this one is actually the one that came with, is among the default library. It's an MP3 file available in the default library of Camtasia Studio. So what I just need to do, I need to look for it. So I already know where they are because I, I was the one that created the particular video. So I click on yes, and then I can go straight to where we have our come straight to program data uh text me this library and then remember it's looking for our ring b if i come to this place I'm looking for our ring b and it's looking for the full so what i need to do this is our ring b so what i need to do because i don't know how many is going to ask me let me first of all pin it to my quick access so anytime we just need to come here without taking that process again okay so come to this place click on this which is which is the same name as this and click on open now that one is resolved now the third one is look at this one again make sure you you don't miss looking at the addresses to know what you're looking for there's another library again that is missing in, in the program data which is what scf extra so i need to look for this particular file because later i'm going to fix this library issue click on yes now to look for this i will just go to where i have my picture which is actually available inside studio scf fix k and uh, this is it make sure you are very very correct select the right file okay now the following we have moved deleted removable drive and must be updated in the clip bin before being used on the timeline i'll read this that 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 blah, blah blah if the files are not updated they will not be included in the final video to update a missing file right click it in the clip bin and choose update media from the menu okay i already know what it's saying so now it has automatically seen that particular file or if i thought it has not seen it all i need to do is to go and update it so it's really looking for you see that i have two libraries here which is this where the files were looking for now if you check it very well this file is not available now because you can see that the color is it's not actually showing that it's an audio now let me go to my second library which is actually here it has seen this one which was was the first one i got so what i need to do i need to come and update this click on update media okay so let me go and look for it again so i will go to i have my array full double click on it and it's updated and now i can save my data i don't really need to save it because it's already saved but if i'm opening it again without solving this problem it will still give me the same issue it will still give me the same problem so what i need to do i need to save this intro here i need to save it add it to my asset add asset to library so remember it was actually looking for what it was looking for this particular file look at it here so i need to save it as this particular name which is scf intro so i will rename it rename group as uh, one okay so i will add it to library okay so that is done and uh, I'll go straight to this place and uh, this is another library that I made before because only you can easily know this okay this one is added so I have these two library now so I need to save my save it now okay so now let's test it again to see but before I do that remember in case of any problem i can just easily go that so i will need to 
export my library export library and i need to export it inside where i can easily locate it which is uh, i don't need to save it here come to this place come to studio and uh, we'll come to scf okay so i'll just come here i will say scf intro intro but you not actually recognize that let me see if it will accept that particular food save okay so oh uh, oops 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 so it's intro okay so i will export it now have we exported that oh it was the wrong one i actually exported so i need to export it again as uh, export okay this is actually what i'm supposed to export come to this particular location again i want to replace this i'll just delete that okay so save it now i haven't saved exported correctly so now i need to export this okay i will need to export to the same location as uh, to be on the safer side let's scf extra okay yeah so i click on save okay so now i've done that now let's save our data and then see if it's going to give us that problem again